All right, now we're doing 8Q Wilson Primes. This is by Huziefa. And 85, excuse me, 58% of the people like it. Uh, Wilson Prime satisfy the following condition. We're going to let P represent a prime number. Uh, P minus 1 factorial plus 1 uh, divided by P times P, P squared. Uh, and it should give a whole number. Our task is to create a function that returns true if the given number is a Wilson Prime. All right, so first thing we're going to have to do is create a function that does factorials for us. All right. Uh, so we're going to, down here, we're going to make another function, say function factorial x, and we're going to do this, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, main thing in this one, we have to use this thing called big int, and it's big int is a primitive wrapper object used to represent and manipulate primitive big int values, which are too large to be represented by the number primitive, right? So... We do big int, and it makes these huge numbers that we can use. And then whenever we're using, uh, referring to one of these numbers, we put an in after it like this, right? So for this one, we're going to start off by saying uh, down here, if x is less than or equal to uh, 1 in, we're going to return 1 in, all right? And if not, we're going to return x times return x times factorial uh, x minus 1 in. So right here we're using recursion, which recursion is the act of a function calling itself uh, to solve problems that contain smaller subproblems. So this is going to be x and then x times x minus 1 in times x minus 2 in times x minus 3 in uh, all the way down till it gets to 1 in and then it's just going to be times x times 1 in basically and so uh, that's going to take care of the uh, factorial situation that we got right here all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come up here we're going to change this p into a big int all right, I'm going to say p equals big int p, all right, and now we're going to come down here, and we're going to say um, return, and we're going to say factorial, p minus 1 in, all right, and then we're going to add 1 to it, like right here plus 1, and then we're going to uh, do a remainder operator for this whole thing, so let's wrap this up in parentheses, and we're going to say remainder operator p times p, all right, and if this, if the remainder equals 0, then it's a Wilson prime, and if not, it's not, so let's test it out. Not big, mix big ints and others because we need to put an in here after zero and an in here after one. Now let's test it out. All right, there we go. And attempt it. Great, submit it. All right, and as you can see, we could have only, if we would have just put these three numbers in, it would have worked fine. Also, I guess that's why this is a very hated one. Uh, here's some more stuff, and let's go to mine right here. Uh, just me right there, very much like it. Best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.